the official stellar crown release date is just around the corner and we are taking a look at some pull rate data we don't have like probably enough to really really hone in on but we have enough to get a decent idea a lot of people have been opening early boxes we've seen some crazy pulls i myself don't have my boxes yet unfortunately they're being shipped to me so that is a little bit unfortunate for me but we are going to crunch some numbers. I'm going to show you guys how difficult it is to pull these cards, but we're going to take a quick look at the booster box prices. Looks like they've kind of hit their bottom at $105, which seems to be the floor for these Scarlet and Violet era boxes. We're not really seeing anything go below 100 with the exception of Scarlet and Violet base right now. So very interesting. We'll pull up the last solds right here. A few at, uh, we got two at 108, but it's pretty much 105 across the board there. So uh, we'll take a look at the singles on TCG. They don't have the photos up right now. They, they always do that. They don't have them until the set releases. So it's a little bit annoying, but we'll just take, this is going to be a quick uh, view through these. The Terrapagos, uh, which is probably my chase for the set, 150. The Lacey at 111. The Hydrapple uh, SIR, which is actually a pretty cool card, 57. Galvantula 52, 48. So you can see it's not too crazy. And pre release prices are pre release prices. So we can't really, none of this really holds any water for long term, but it is interesting just to see kind of where things are. And uh, we'll point out a few things that I think are important, which is the Squirtle right here at 48, the Bulbasaur at 39, obviously the Tropagos. And then the other card for me that I want is this Dash Bun SIR. I just think it's adorable. Only at 34 bucks pre-release, so uh, it will be interesting if these prices come down. Uh, some of these cards might be real affordable. But uh, we are going to take a look at, at a, another YouTuber. I, I, I don't have like boxes, like I said. So we are going to use some of the data from Danny Phantom. If you guys aren't familiar with the channel, he makes some great content, so go check him out. But he opened 20 booster boxes, and you can write here 20 boxes. This is what he put the cost would be at wholesale and market costs, right? And this is kind of the value of what he pulled. And I crunched a little bit of the numbers for some of my chase cards for the set, and that's what we're going to get into. But it is interesting. And these are pre-release prices, so you kind of... But it was kind of crazy. The best box that he pulled, he had $323 worth of cards, and the worst was $64. So that is quite the the difference right there so um but the cards that i'm looking at so like i said these are my chase cards for the set uh the terrapagos sir let's see let's pull this up real quick for the terrapagos sir he pulled two out of 20 boxes so keep in mind that that's 720 packs that he opened so that that's once again this isn't solid but those are a lot of packs, so we can kind of get a rough idea. Two Terrapagos, that's one in every 360 packs. So that's a that's a decent rarity. It could be, you'll see um, the Dash Bun SIR. One out, he only pulled one. So one out of 720 packs. Those are, That's a lot better. Um, pull rates right there. I think it might be safe to say that he just got lucky with the Tropagos, and we could see the Tropagos being one in every 720 as well. It can just depend. We don't know for sure, but very interesting there. Uh, also, the Hydrapple SIR, which I didn't like at first, but it's kind of grown on me. Super cool card. Two, so one in every 360 packs. And this is going to be very interesting right here. Check this out. The Bulbasaur. Four. He pulled four. One in every 180 packs. Which, that's a lot of packs still to open that card. Um, but what's more interesting is the Squirtle. He only got one. One Squirtle and 720 packs. So those are the pull rates for the cards that I'm chasing. Now, if we come back to take a look at this right here. This is from TCG Player. And this is from the last full booster box set that we got. Twilight Masquerade pull rates. Now, they opened a lot more packs. There's over 8,000 packs. So this is where your information is going to be a lot more accurate. But check this out. So the EV card, which has been really popular, one in every 272 packs. The Squirtle ended up being one, 1720, so we don't know. The Bulbasaur was one in 180. So if you, ev if you even those out, it looks like those pull rates might be similar. 
the SIR pull rates, like I said, for the Tropicoso is 1 out of three, 360, 1 out of 360, and 1 out of 720. Now, if you average that out, it's definitely going to be less, less than this, less than 941, but still up there. So maybe these cards won't have, you know, quite the value. Um, it just, it's interesting to compare kind of. So this is what I was using. They opened a ton of packs. Uh, Danny Phantom didn't, you know, 20 boxes is still a lot, but it's not 8,000 packs. So you have to consider that. Um, it is interesting info. So what we can take away from this is I don't think, unfortunately, I think it's just due to the set size. If the set was bigger, I think we could see some higher prices, but I don't think we're going to see the Tarapa go, go too crazy or the Bulbasaur or the Squirtle. Um, it really, it really is going to depend on the market though. And probably the Hydrapple and the Dashman will be pretty cheap, but Tarapagos, I don't know. It's, it's so hard to tell. Um, I'd love to see it hold over a hundred at least, but if it, if it ends up being one in every 360 packs, I think it might end up being cheaper than that. But the Bulbasaur and Squirtle will be very interesting. I almost think they're more interesting because a lot of people are going to be picking those up just because obviously the Pokemon, but there's going to be a lot of people looking to grade those with the Charmander from Obsidian. So it's, it's very interesting. I can't, I can't wait to see like kind of where this ends up with these, with these cards, the set. I think this is kind of a slept on set. A lot of people talking down on it. A lot of people on Reddit and stuff saying that the pull rates were too easy. I don't know. I don't think they're too easy. They're definitely, it seems like they're easier, but I don't know if they're too easy. I, I still think that there will be some rarity to these cards, which is what we need for those prices to go up. So a little bit of rarity, but a little bit easier. It also might be a nice set that people will rip because you have a decent chance to pull decent cards. So I, I don't know how that's going to factor in, but that Stellar Crown is around the corner. Hopefully I get my boxes in so I can open some pretty pretty excited actually so yeah those are my chases um maybe in the next few videos you'll see me opening my boxes i don't know how many i'm gonna open i was planning on just one booster and one etb but we'll see how that goes but i think that is gonna do it for this one guys thank you so much for watching if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed obviously you enjoyed the content do yourself a favor and hit the subscribe button down below and leave me a comment let me know what you guys think of the stellar crown pull rates is it good enough you got, I mean, do you think just still think it's trash and it doesn't matter? I think it's a pretty solid set. Not amazing. Not amazing. It's not going to be like one of the top sets, but I think it's a super fun set. So, and I, I do like the Pokemon in it for the most part. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I will catch you in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.